Faculty members and students of MLTEP Institute Charter High School, welcome to TEP TV. We proudly represent the freshmen. We proudly represent the sophomores. We proudly represent the juniors. Join us as we take you through the 2023-2024 school year. And as always, go, go Panthers! Tap TV. I'm Elijah Shannon and it's Ramir. Okay. <laughs> do you use TikTok? Yeah. Okay. What do you use TikTok for? What's your like? What be on your for you page? Dances. You know what I'm saying? A little Philly TikTok. Um, Fortnite. Okay. Do you be posting TikToks and stuff like, or do you just watch them? No, I post TikToks. I'm, I'm a little TikTok famous myself. You feel me? Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna ask you. <laughs> do you know this um TikTok trend called um Real Smooth? I don't know the names. Do you know this? Do you know that? You don't know that? You know of it? Yeah, I know of it. I saw the video, but I don't know the dance. Oh, you don't know how to do it. Okay. Um, do you have a spam account? On it? no on Instagram. Do you use Instagram? Yeah. yeah. Do you have one? Yeah. What do you think? Like people you, like post on they spam. What is the spam for? To like where your deep deep followers at. You only let certain people in your spam because you post certain things on your spam that certain people can't see. You got pub one and you got a, a little spam. That's why I be private so like not everybody can get in. So if you get in, you special. Okay, thank you for your time. What's up, Tap TV? I'm the Lady Shane. I'm with Jabril. Okay, okay, Jabril. Um, do you use social media? Yeah. What social media platforms do you use? Instagram. What do you use Instagram for? To troll. To troll? What is trolling? Just having fun. Just having fun. Like, what do you do to people? Like, I don't do nothing. You don't do nothing. Like, you don't just be like saying weird stuff and be like, oh, it's like no, it's like no. No. Okay. Um, what social media platform do you think you use the most? Instagram for sure. Is it because like it got everything on there, or like what? I feel like Instagram is is just original. Like everybody know Instagram, so that's what they're gonna use for for real. You don't use Facebook? It's for the old folks? Yeah, for sure. Okay, thank you. What's up, Tap TV? I'm Elijah Shannon. I'm with Assign Williams. All right, so Assign, what social media platforms do you use? Instagram. Why do you use Instagram? That's the only app I really like, honestly. Like, what do you do on Instagram? Oh, I just be posting. You got a lot of followers? Oh, yeah. Why? Just because I be bored. Like, that's the only way, like, if I'm not doing nothing, like, in real life, like, you feel me? I just be on my jack on Instagram, posting my little one two. Okay. Well, um, do you got spam? What should we post on your spam? Uh, honestly, embarrassing pictures of everybody. In real life moments, like. Real life moments? Real life moments. Do everybody get in, or is a. Uh, it's really like only a certain type of. You gotta be a certain type of thorough. Okay, um, <laughs> do you use TikTok? No, I was on the TikTok for a little bit, like making my little videos or whatever, but I wasn't feeling it no more. Like, it'd be a lot of nonsense on it. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> thank you, Fred. <laughs> What's up, Tough TV? I'm Elijah Shannon. I'm with Nick Williams. Okay, Nick Williams. I see that you got the chain on, so that means that y'all won stinks, right? Yeah, we got it done. Okay, what does football mean to you? Football means it's just like it helps me like cope with like stuff outside of outside of um, football, like. Life, life situations wise, it just helps me. Okay, um, it was it seemed like it was a good game, so was it? Yeah, it was an amazing game. Okay, um, what social media platforms do you use? Uh, I use Instagram. Instagram? Why do you use Instagram? Um, I use Instagram. Do you have a spam account? Nah. Why not? I don't need it. Okay. Um, uh, what for football? For football? X like the championship. Okay. Um. Do you use TikTok? Uh, I use it too much right now. Okay, um, thank you for your time. I'm Matthew Smith, but today I'm here with? I'm Coach Pup. So, I see that you won a state championship. What do you do on the MOTF football team? 
Um, I'm the personal trainer and assistant D-line coach. Mm. So you work with John and them. So what do y'all do? Like, what do you do with the D-line and stuff? Um, we do, like, extra workouts. Like, so, like, we got a, a game plan to, like, get them stronger than they was last year, and we succeeded. Mm. So what do you feel like they could have improved on in the state championship, and what things do you think they really did really well? Oh, we... They watched film big this week. Um, more so film, they was, the game plan was to play aggressive because it was a lot of disrespect from the Whitfield division. So we, we, we made out real good in that aspect too. What about the weight room? Did y'all have them lift like all their um, PRs and stuff like that since y'all wanted them to be better? Well, um, I mean, if you go across the board, the only person numbers didn't jump in the weight room was uh, Zion Mantis because he had got hurt. Mm -hmm. DJ, his bench jumped like a hundred and something pounds. Ja broke the weight room record at the school. Um, and Dre is like right under Ja. Like Dre is the second strongest guy in the school. Mm, that's really awesome. So can you tell me like some of the disrespectful things that Whippio was saying? Cause I seen in all the videos, y'all was saying what happened with you cause they said some a couple of things. What did they say exactly? Um, it was more disrespect because Immotech went there three years straight, mm -hmm. and this was the fourth year, so they basically was, like, disrespecting, like, Pennsylvania, I mean, Philadelphia schools more so far as, like, um, that we we only, like, a powerhouse team. We not a team that's, te that's teachable. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what it was. They was disrespecting Jai all week on social media. So now that y'all won, did they have anything to say about that? Because I know that y'all did lose a couple of times, but now that y'all did beat a West team, and y'all proved to them that we can, that MOTEP can actually beat a West team, and y'all could beat any team that y'all really want to go against. Did they have anything to say about that? Um, I ain't really do that. I was, I was trolling this week, this <laughs> weekend, so I didn't even look up on it. But um, ten out of ten, they probably still gonna have something to say. When this, when this, when you're a powerhouse football team, nobody's happy. Nobody want to see you win, unless you come from where they from. So how do you feel about the 27s that, um, the 27s, and the other classes that's going to be moving up and moving on the D-line? Because Ja and them, that's their last season. And then also you have the new 28s that's coming in. How do you feel about them, and how do you think they're going to perform when it's time for them? Um, well, on defense, we return eight guys out of 11. Mm. And on offense, we return seven out of 11. So we only got to replace like eight people. We already got the key components already on the team. But, you know, guys coming in as transfers or coming in to the school, the next man up, we try and repeat. Mm. Well, I'd like to say thank you for the interview and congratulations on the state trip. Thanks for having me. No problem. Um, thank you. What's up? My name is Kev, and I'm here with Dante. And the question I got is, what do you do to entertain yourself? Uh, what I do to entertain myself is, I'm either playing football, working out, or running a game. Oh, all right. What celebrity inspires you, and why? Celebrity inspire me? Uh, I got a few. I go with LeBron. You know LeBron got all the cheese. He got nice family and all that. What about what about six nine, bro? Six nine. Yeah. Nah, no rap. I don't, I don't like six nine. Uh, he, I like his music though, not him though. What is your favorite celebrity couple? My favorite celebrity couple. I don't know. Jay Z. Yeah, and to Beyonce? be honest, yeah, keep it. Nah, yeah, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. That's a good job. And you said you play video games. So what's your favorite? Uh. I've been rocking with Madden right now. Anybody want to check out my Madden? We could bet for the cheese. What about Lego Fortnite? Bro, Lego Fortnite. What I look like? Kid. Not no kid. All right, and you on the football team, right? Yeah. Is this the best TEP team that ever come from Emotep Charter? As of right now, I feel like this 2022-2023 team is the best team Emotep I have ever had. Yeah, most sure. All right, I'm Kevin. I'm here with... What's your favorite Netflix show? Um, probably uh, <laughs> Grey's Anatomy. All right, you you watch sports? Yeah, I watch, like let me say it first. Oh yeah, I watch ball. 
So basketball is your favorite sport? Yeah. Who's the best basketball player of all time? My brother. In the NBA? Curry. What does Curry do better than LeBron? <laughs> he shoot better than him. What else? He probably got more handles than him. What else? Um, yeah, that's and that's it. So how is he to go if he only does two things better? But anyway. Um, so your favorite show is Grey's Anatomy, right? Yeah. What, what is it about? <laughs> it's about doctors in a hospital and how they save people or a lot of people, I should say. So that's your favorite show? Yeah. I about like it. doctors? Yeah, because I want to be a neurosurgeon. What? That's hor That's a horrible show. That's horrible. <laughs> what about, like, there's a bunch of other shows that are way better than that. Not really. That's my favorite show, so let me have it. That's a horrible show to watch. Not really. All right, we're done. My name is Tashawn, and I'm here with Jaden. And today I'm going to be asking her questions. So my first question is, who's your celebrity? Um, who's your? What celebrity inspires you? I don't really have a celebrity that inspires me. Well, my brother, he's a celebrity to me. Okay. Um, and what's your favorite celebrity couple? <laughs> Indy and Dirt. Indy and Dirt. What do you do to have fun at home? Well, you know, I'll be chilling. I might play Roblox on my phone. Might slap box my brothers, you know. It, it all depends on the day it is. And who's better, Michael Jordan or Michael LeBron Jordan. James? Uh, Michael oh. Jordan. Nazar. And why? Why is that? Um, I don't really know. I just don't like LeBron. He's a bum. Okay. Uh, do you play video games? Yeah. What video games do you play? <laughs> Roblox. Uh, Roblox, Call of Duty. Is that your favorite video game? No. My favorite, Robo my favorite video game probably is Roblox. I'm on there 24-7. And why? Is it it's just fun. I don't know. I'll be building houses on Blacksburg and all that. All right. That's it. I'm Sean Xavier, and I'm here with... Anaya. Today I'm going to be asking Anaya a couple questions. Um, the first question is, what do you do to entertain yourself when you're home? Um, I listen to music or talk to people. All right. Next question is, what celebrity inspires you and why? Um, Summer Walker, because her music just relates to me. Uh, what's your favorite celebrity couple and why? Drake and India. Yeah. I don't know, they just cute. Um, and do you play video games? No. Okay, my last question is, do you think the Eagles are gonna win the Super Bowl? No. Oh, well, that's it. My name is Anthony Henney and I'm here with Laka Carp. And today we're gonna uh talk about uh social media and how you feel about it. Um uh I got a question for you. Uh Instagram or or TikTok? Uh, recently, no, nah, Instagram, Instagram. Okay. Okay. Why? Uh, Instagram, I feel like, is more of a platform where you, like, text people, get to know people. Like, I be on TikTok sometimes, but, to watch videos, but Instagram got better videos anyway, so. Think you should survive without Instagram or TikTok? And how long? Yeah, I, could, I, could, I definitely could survive without, feel me, social media or Instagram or TikTok. And for how long, I don't know. As long as y'all, like, y'all paying me, they like, you mean, feel me? How, do how does social media impact your life? Uh, My life, I mean, it been good. I feel like it made me a little more social with people. Made me, like, feel me, how to communicate. And it made me type faster, type faster. All right, how many followers you got on the grand? I'm uh, I think I'm at 900 or I'm reaching 900. Do you think social media affects mental health? Uh, yeah, but not me. But I think certain people would definitely do, if, especially people that play like you know, cyber bullied or like, or people just that too caught up into the social media. They probably just like they not really in a reality and what's really going on. Or believing whatever, like, that's all ways it could affect people. Like, believing whatever you see on the internet, stuff like that. Do you have a favorite TikTok dance, and can you show us? Uh, all right, I'm done. All right, that's it for today. Hi, I'm Tommy Shields here with. Michael Whitfield.
And today, Kel, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. So, the first question is, can you survive without social media? No. Why you think that? Because I'm always on my phone. I can't let my phone go. <laughs> think. Uh, do you watch TV? YouTube. What's some things you like to watch on YouTube? Uh, football or video games. All right. Uh, do you think uh, social media got an impact on violence? Mm -hmm. Do you think uh, social media got an impact on violence? Yeah, because people be, you know, I ain't going to say too much, but people be posting stuff, and then it get back to the others, and then, you know, that's how it go down. So basically you're saying social media basically influence a lot of people's actions? Um, what's your favorite social media platform? Um, TikTok. Why you say TikTok? Because it just be knowing. It just be knowing everything you going through. All that. So basically you say TikTok, you be here in the spot sometimes. Yeah, I be in my bed, curling my toes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, do you have a spam account? If so, how many followers on your spam account? Ooh. Yeah, I... I think like four hundred. Four hundred? Uh that's that's not a lie, that's not a lie. Uh, what's your favorite TikTok? What's my favorite TikTok? Uh, a bit of that. <laughs> uh that's it for this interview. It's Kyra Hood here from Tep TV and I'm here with Tommy. And today I'm gonna be asking some questions. Alright, that's good. Alright. What is your favorite movie and why? Uh I favorite movie, um, Home Alone. Every Home Alone, I like Home Alone. I just like the spirit, and I just like the movie. It's, it's a little entertaining and funny. Oh, yeah, Home Alone, definitely funny. <laughs> I got to watch that, too. What is your favorite um, celebrity couple in why, though? Um, my favorite celebrity couple, I don't really know. I don't really got one, because, like, people be hyping it up, but I just think they regular people live in life. Like, like every couple don't be seeming good, like, it seemed good on the internet, but like they probably be struggling off the internet, so I don't really got one. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know about that. I couldn't even answer. That. Like, was it like, was it something that you seen on a show or like a movie that like you hoped that was real? Not really. I mean, as a kid, watching Like Mike and he had got the sneakers <laughs> and just that could do all that stuff. No. That kind of was, that's probably what sounded like I thought that was going to ever happen before. But that's probably it. All right. Next question. I got PlayStation. I had PlayStation my whole life, so PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Um, on Fortnite platform, all I watch is typical gamer. I don't really watch yeah, yeah. nobody else yet. And uh, like uh, 2K, uh, it's a group. I forgot the group name, but it's a group. They be making all these builds and stuff like that. I watch them. And on the Madden tip, double, um, yeah, double, double yeah. H and them. <laughs> on the Madden tip, I don't really watch that for real. So yeah, man, I just, I, I watch, yeah. Man. It's, it's seeing them pick apart the defense and all that. I'll be watching that. Um, well, that was all. Uh, it's Kyra Hood here from Tech TV, and I'm here with Tommy. We closing out. And that brings us to the end of the show. We hope that you enjoy watching as much as we enjoy creating it for you, and we hope to see you again real soon. Tap up! Go, Go Tap! Panthers up!